In today's episode of the IoT Show, we have Andre from Redis Lab, who comes to tell us about how you can leverage Redis database at the edge to build very efficient systems. Uh, and we'll have also a nice demo of all of that. So Redis Edge with Andre on the IoT Show. Hi, everyone. This is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Thanks for watching. Today, we have Andre with us from Redis Lab. Andre, nice to have you on the show. Thank you very much. So can you real quick introduce yourself sure. and what Redis Lab does? Sure. So um, my name is Andre Srinivasan. I'm a solutions architect at Redis Labs. And Redis Labs is the home of the Redis database. Awesome. And for those of you who don't know exactly or actually are a bit curious about the details, what is Redis? Excellent question. Always, always good to, to clarify. So um, Redis is an in-memory NoSQL database. We're best known for uh, making um, slow databases fast, acting as a caching layer, um, offloading work um, from, from what you know, might be a, a slow database. Okay. Um, but underneath that, what, and, and what is typically used to build mm -hmm. um, those solutions is the data structures that um, Red, the Redis database expo exposes. Um, so you can really think about Redis as a data structure server. Um, and if you then sort of step back a little bit and, um, and kind of combine this notion of um, you know, blindingly fast speed, so, so we, we talk about Redis as operating at, at sub-millisecond um, sub speeds, and, and, and we can back that up with, with, uh, with benchmarks. Okay. Um, if we combine that and this notion of data structures and extensibility mm -hmm. through plugins, or we call them modules, um, what you end up with is a multi-model database uh, that can be used for quite a number of things. Okay, and actually, one of the things that you come here to talk about is how we can use that in IoT scenarios. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Can you like dive a bit deeper into you know why IoT developers should care about Redis database, and and then we'll see how they can use it, and we'll talk more specifically about how they can use it also at the, the edge. At the edge. Right. right. Perfect. So um, if you think about think about IoT, mm -hmm. it's everything from you know devices and, and bits coming off of off of sensors yep. to analytics and and uh, predicting using cloud compute. Correct. Yep. Everything and and, and everything in between. Um, if you then think about these these core capabilities of Redis, speed, uh, multi-model mm -hmm. extensibility, um, the 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 data. Um, can be, you know, wants to be looked at as, um, as streams because you're basically okay. you have data coming in and you know, so ingress and egress of data. Mm -hmm. Redis streams is a is a built-in data structure. Okay. Uh, you when you want to visualize the data, mm -hmm. it, uh, you typically want to look at it as time series data. Yep. So that same database also exposes d the data as as time series. So we have a yep. we have yep. a module. Uh, typically, um, you know, what what I'm going to talk about is at the edge, but but in the cloud as well, um, you want to look at that data. You want to model it. Um, most likely, you want to you want to pass it through some deep learning modules um, model. So, so you know TensorFlow, for example, mm -hmm. um, there is a, a, a module. There's a module so for we that. so we That's extend we, we, so <laughs> we extend the, the capability and and mm -hmm. and, um, and it kind of just comes back to all those those core values. Mm -hmm. um, so this single single Redis database provides all these capabilities in, in one shot. Get it. And so traditionally, uh, you lead it to that, but traditionally, developers will be using Redis in the cloud, right, with like super beefy machines and so on. Right. Uh, but you just mentioned the fact that they can start using that at the edge as well. Correct. So we have that IoT Edge platform uh, with Azure that right. allows you to run work streams on the cloud at the edge. And so how is Redis actually, you have something called Redis Edge that I think addresses that scenario. That's right, yeah. So, so um, one of the things that I, I, of course, failed to mention earlier is the footprint of, of Redis. Okay. Core Redis is five meg. That's it. Yeah. Full stop. Okay. Yeah. So, so that that um, that ability to do compute in the cloud translates really nicely down to the edge where your compute resources are limited. Got it. Uh, and and so this this idea of of speed, multi-model, basically no compromise. Mm -hmm. Um, at, at a small footprint is what Redis Edge is all about. Okay. What we've what we've done is we've taken core Redis. Mm -hmm. We're leveraging streams, which is a, a native data type, mm -hmm. a native data structure yep. within Redis, and then bundled in 
the ability to run TensorFlow models, okay. as well as expose the data as time series. Mm -hmm. And we've created a product called Redis Edge. So to bring that, that, uh, that compute model that you would typically use in the cloud, bring it to the edge and use it to, you know, what the scenarios that we're talking about mm -hmm. is um, typically aggregating data that's coming off of lots of sensors. So imagine sensors in, a, in, a, in an oil field, let's say. Yep. Aggregate that, mm -hmm. um, pass it through a, a TensorFlow model or, okay. or some, sort of, some sort of deep learning model, mm -hmm. and then react to that data because you can't, in those cases, you can't wait the, the few hundred milliseconds to find out that your oil rig is about to blow exactly, up. Exactly, exactly. So the speed of Redis, like its footprint actually is totally adapted to that. Right. So you have a scenario actually that you want to show us about exactly what you just described, yes. but in more practical ways, right? I exactly. So, I mean, to, to kind of take this philosophical image and, and bring it yeah. down to, to yeah, something yeah. a little bit more concrete, um, the, you know, one of the most common patterns, or one of the, com one of the patterns that we're seeing uh, quite often is a scenario of using a camera as a sensor, yep. um, taking that data, passing it through a deep learning model, okay. and then reacting to that data. Yep. So, yep. Um, and you want to do that at the edge so that you don't have actually to, to be connected. Correct. You also don't have to wait for the latencies of like the communication back and forth to the cloud. Uh, and sometimes you have the privacy question as well, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the, you know, the beauty, you know, I, I, you know, to, to, to recognize yeah. um, the Azure IoT Edge, mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's that, that platform combined with Redis Edge that, that ends up solving that, that problem. So, okay. so uh, got to gotta give credit yeah, where, yeah. where credit is due. <laughs> um, so, so typical scenario. Um, and then so what does, that, what does that look like when you're actually um, building your, your yeah. Azure IoT Edge solution with modules. Um, so obviously you have the, the hub module, so yep. it's basically core runtime. Um, you probably have a little bit of code that's dealing with the frames coming off of the camera yep. um, and, and uh, applying the right magic. Um, but then you have all these other components. You, mm -hmm. um, you need the Azure ML module yep. so that you can, you can pass it through some sort of deep learning model. Mm -hmm. Um, you probably have a database to, to do some local storage, yeah, yeah. so SQLite is a very common yeah. um, uh, common module. And then you need an orchestrator. You need some kind of app yeah. that's, that's, that's providing the coordination yeah. um, around all yeah. of this. Yeah, because sometimes just the routing capability of IT is not enough. It's, it's just like you passing one message. Exactly. Yeah, you, you definitely, yeah. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Okay. exactly. How does it look like with uh, Redis Edge then? So, boom. With, with, <laughs> with the, that's right, boom. boom. Right, so <laughs> what we've been able to do is simplify down from, um, from these additional two models, yes. modules, down to the one module. Okay, and, and how complex is it for a developer to get to that one module for Redis? So the, the beauty of it is VS Code. Um, so we're, we're fully integrated into that development environment. Okay. You add the Redis Edge module into your solution, mm -hmm. and you deploy just like you would deploy any Azure IoT Edge solution. Okay, and I guess we'll talk about where you guys can get more information, but I guess in these documentation and repos, actually they're gonna have all the information they need. Um, I was told you came with a little demo. I came with a little demo. So, um, so, so what I, I've, I've built a, a simple demo, yep. and actually let me, let me actually just show you, show you what the components are rather than, okay. rather than just speaking about it. So, um, diving in through the, the Azure portal, mm -hmm. um, we go into the IoT Edge, yep. And we look at my um, and we look at my device details for. Yep. Did I pick up the right one? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, okay. So the scenario is. And to the people watching, don't bother trying to read the, the little letters here because we're going to remove that device and so on. You will not be able to hack Andre's <laughs> uh, uh, IoT up here. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so so you know, coming back to that scenario of the oil rig, mm -hmm. um, let's say that you had a camera. Um, pointed at, say, a, a pump of some sort, okay, yeah. um, or, or you know, some some part of the infrastructure, mm -hmm. and then you also have sensors around um, around the the drill head yeah. and and you know pumps and turbines and so on. Yeah. So um, so basically, I have devices for those. I have Redis Edge as a as a module, mm -hmm. um, and then and then a little bit of logic that basically maps the camera frames okay. into into something I can okay. use. Got it. All right. So so given that. Given that scenario yeah. um, of of our solution mm -hmm. running at the edge, um, what um, what we end up with is uh, a camera mm -hmm. and other sensors feeding data. Um, that data goes um, 
uh, the data goes into a Redis Edge stream, so okay. that's ingress. Okay. That stream is fed into a deep learning model, so a okay. TensorFlow model, okay. which is which is detecting simple stuff. Okay. And this it's been trained in the cloud, been, been available there. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Actually, that's yeah. a, that's a, that's actually a really a really really good point. Yeah. Um, um, these models do not get trained. Yeah. At, the, at the edge, they're, they're yeah. absolutely yeah. trained yeah. In, yeah. in the Azure cloud, and then and then they're they're installed or downloaded um, to the edge. Yeah. Uh, so so the from the stream the. Um, the, the, the frame of data mm -hmm. is fed into a TensorFlow model. Okay. The model attempts to recognize yeah. something interesting, uh, and then um, as a result of that, the data is fed back into two other streams. Mm -hmm. So basically, the things that I'm recognizing um, with, the, with the probability. The, um, the frames themselves mm -hmm. are interesting, but you wouldn't typically store that in Redis. They're, they're big. Okay. Um, so you would tend to um, upload that at some slower speed into some kind of blob store okay. um, uh, just for, for later analysis in the, in the cloud. Makes sense. Makes sense. So if we, if we then look at um, what I have running mm -hmm. in, in the bottom of the screen, um, that is the, the ingress stream. So basically, okay. it's, it's every frame that, that's coming in. and um, the idea is is just capture the the, the metadata about the frame. Okay. Um, the the frame itself is fed into the TensorFlow model. Okay. Um, and the results of that TensorFlow model, as I said, are, are fed into two two additional streams. Okay. And so what we end up with is a stream that is um, is focused on the pump. Okay. And so basically, every time a bad vibration mm -hmm. is detected. Um, that's going to be register as, as an event on okay. that stream or, or an entry on that stream. Mm -hmm. And very similarly, um, for, the, for, the, for a pipe, so this would be mm -hmm. a camera pointed at the pipe looking yep, for, yep. for a defect, um, we have, we have a, a, a registered event okay. um, with, a, with, a, with a probability. Nice. And here you're using the Redis CLI tools seamlessly, right? Even though this is running as a module on IoT Edge, you're a Redis developer. You're like super familiar with these tools. You can just use your, you, you, your you, tools. You right? use your tools exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So this is I'm just using the command line Redis client tool yeah. and monitoring my Redis database. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool demo. I think for people to learn more, uh, we're gonna have a link added down there. Okay. Uh, so that was a great introduction to uh, Redis Edge. Uh, you guys know what you have to do. Well, first subscribe for the IoT show, and then <laughs> go check out the GitHub repo uh, or the information that we have down here, so that you can learn about Redis Edge. Excellent. Thank Thanks you very much. Really appreciate it.